Hi, I'm Allison Hazel for WDSU TV Channel 14 here at the Education and Humanities Building for the 28th Annual MLK Commemorative Program. Delaware State University and the Inner City Cultural League Incorporated celebrate the life of civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with an afternoon of entertainment and inspiring words. We thank you first for life. This is one of the traditional stops along the way as we celebrate Martin Luther King birthday here in the first day. The celebration included performances by the Sokofa Dancers and Drummers, the Sokofa String Orchestra, Dawn Slash Dell Production Company, and Amelia the Poet. After the ceremony, we caught up with Senator Tom Carper, DSU President Harry Williams, and keynote speaker Betty McLeod. I loved it. I especially I love the woman who was the uh, commencement speaker, and uh, actually she was our keynote speaker. But I said to to uh, President Williams, I said she would be a great commencement speaker. She was so funny, she was so live. She had great practical advice, great practical advice, and delivered in a way that was just uh, incredibly uh, funny. And she uh, she she worked off of the legacy of uh, Martin Luther King, and I love. She talked about climbing the mountain, climbing the mountain, and she basically said it's not just enough to have lofty ideals and and uh, and have a dream. I, like, what are you going to do with it? And I thought she was terrific in making that point. I tell you, this program was outstanding. Uh, and I was so excited to see some of our students here today. Uh, but the speaker, the keynote speaker, did an outstanding job uh, celebrating the life of Dr. Martin Luther King, which is so important for us to do. It's to take time out of our very busy and hectic schedule to think about Dr. King's life, and that's what took place in here today. The, the, the challenge that the keynote speaker put out there in terms of the, the help won't it ad, and she says she's looking for mountain climbers. That's a great way of, of, of explaining and also putting a visual around in terms of the, the, the opportunities for all Americans to be a part of that. And, and in students here at Delaware State University, I see them climbing mountains every single day towards their ultimate goal of graduating from this outstanding institution. It's extremely important, and I think one of the things you can do is to talk with the school districts, the people who make the, uh, I'd say, the curriculum and decide what courses you're taking and all. You want to make sure that you have those things available to you. And then, not only that, just because it's written, it doesn't mean that it's true. So you also want to have something that gives you an opportunity to look through what's false and what's real. Because right now, in this country, we have books that are being written about this, this president's time here, and a lot of it's not true. And I think it's also good to do a lot of listening and helping each other. There's no need for arguing and fussing and bullying and all that. That's just a waste of time. It's for people who can't find anything better to do with their time, number one. And secondly, they are not sure of who they are. When you have anybody involved in those kinds of things, they who do the bad part are in worse condition than the people that have things done to them. So they need help. And that makes it difficult for us now, but I have a person who's willing to take on the real challenge of a person. Give me the crazy people. Yeah. yeah the life me. and legacy of Dr. King will always be cherished. Until next time, I'm Allison Hazel for WDSU-TV Channel 14.